In Ethiopia, the total population is slightly more than 114 million people. However, the number of ultra-high net worth individuals is less than 3,500 people. In 2020 alone, private wealth in Ethiopia was projected to be $57 billion, which is $1 billion higher than Ghana and $33 billion less than Kenya, both of which have $90 billion. Ethiopia is home to a small number of billionaires and a large number of multimillionaires. Unsurprisingly, a high percentage of these ultra-high net worth individuals are politicians. Even though Ethiopia is one of the world's developing nations, there are still wealthy individuals living and enjoying life like Hollywood stars. They have access to power and run reliable businesses that export goods from their beloved nation to other countries, which accounts for their wealth. We've compiled a list of Ethiopia's top 15 wealthiest families for you today. Starting off, we have number 15, the Shafa family. The Shaifa family is a very powerful and certainly influential family in Ethiopia. Popular for their coffee company started by Omer Ali Shaifa. The climate in Ethiopia is perfect for growing coffee. As a result, he made a wise commercial choice when he started the local coffee industry. He is the driving force behind Ninjit International, a business that exports specialty coffee to other countries. This agricultural company became well-known since the majority of the coffee produced here is exported. In order to grow in all directions, this company branched out into other agricultural sectors. The combined fortune of the Shaifa family is estimated to be worth over $500 million. Number 14. The Ambe Family The Ambe family is a very popular family in Ethiopia. The family is famous for being the family of Tekleberhan Ambe. He began his rise to stardom in 1993 when he incorporated himself as Tekleberhan Ambe Construction Peel, LC with a capitalization of $185. There are currently about 2,550 employees working for the company. Number 13. The Tufa Family The Tufa family is another very famous and powerful family in Ethiopia, as it is the family of Tashita Tufa. He walked five miles each way to and from school every day as a young child in Ethiopia, so his story is a true example of grass to grace. He currently oversees Metropolitan Transportation Network, or MTN, a multi-million dollar business that transports daily more than 15,000 Minnesota kids to their respective schools, field trips, and other locations. MPN started off simply with a single van, but Tufa's excellent negotiating abilities, he had always envisioned himself as a diplomat helped the company expand rapidly. One of 14 siblings who grew up working on a farm is Tufa. He worked as a teacher after receiving his undergraduate degree before escaping to America in 1992. He worked as a dishwasher, security guard, factory worker, shuttle driver, and other positions before launching his own company with Namtan. The Tufa family would definitely not be what it is today without the influence of Tashita. The family is estimated to be worth a combined $750 million. Number 12. The Alamu Family The Alamu family is another Ethiopian family just like the previous one. The bulk of their fame is due to the influence of Bethlehem Tilahun Alamu. He is an entrepreneur from Ethiopia who established Solar Rebels, a worldwide shoe brand with headquarters in Addis Ababa, and currently holds the position of executive director. Solar Rebels was founded in 2005. As of 2016, Solarable's shoes were sold in more than 50 countries after being dubbed the fastest-growing African shoe brand in 2014. Alamu started Solarables as a method to combine the artistic creativity of her Ethiopian community with the traditional Barabasso recycled tire shoe. As a result, footwear that is completely unique and inspired by an ethos of ethical manufacture, sustainable materials, and maximum comfort is created. The group is on track to control 500 Solarables branded retail outlets worldwide and produce $1 billion in revenue by 2028 after the inauguration of its 22nd branch in Hamburg's Hip Street Poly District. The Alamu family's combined assets are estimated to be worth over $830 million. Number 11. The Bisnu Family the Biznu family is another very influential and powerful family in Ethiopia. The family's patriarch is Buzwehu Biznu. He is the founder and chairman of East African Holding, 
also referred to as EA, a large industrial firm in Ethiopia. The manufacture of FMCG's agriculture, agro-processing, printing and packaging, transportation, real estate, and coal mining. The company was established as an operating holding for subsidiary enterprises engaged in these activities. The company has grown into one of the biggest employers in the country, with more than 6,000 permanent and temporary workers. EAA produces over 100 products and provides outside customers and affiliate companies with transportation and distribution services. In addition to his ownership stake in the group, Bizinu also has control over a number of other businesses, including Bizinu Investments Park, East African Agribusiness Park, Cosmer East Africa Business Park, East African Group Park, East African Tiger Brands Park, Ethio Asia Industries Park, National Summit SC, and East African Coal Mining Corporation Park. The Bizinu family has a combined fortune of over $1 billion. Number 10. The Ashinafi Family The Ashinafi family is very powerful and very influential. The family is popular for being the family of Tuadros Ashinafi. Ethiopian businessman Tuadros Ashinafi is the CEO of Southwest Energy, an oil and gas exploration and production company with headquarters in Addis Abeba, the country's capital. The well-known businessman was not only the CEO of Southwest Energy, Ethiopia's first and only indigenous oil and gas company, but also played a significant role in the reform of the country's energy industry. Providing a variety of services to oil and gas companies, he is the chairman of Southwest Development, a prominent player in Ethiopia's oil and gas sector. Ambo Mineral Water, a well-known naturally carbonated mineral water brand in Ethiopia, and SAB Miller are both co-owned by Ashinafi. Ashinafi played a significant role in one of Africa's largest private sector corporate transactions in 2016. As a local partner for Japan Tobacco International in Ethiopia, he closed a $1.4 billion transaction to purchase a 40% interest in that country's national tobacco enterprise. The $1 billion deal is the largest privatization ever in Ethiopia. The Ashinafi family is worth a combined total of over $1.2 billion. Nine, the Kindi family. The Kindi family is one of Ethiopia's most powerful families. The majority of the family's success comes from Belena Kindi. He has amassed wealth through his Ethiopia-based Belena Kindi or BK business group, which first focused on the sale of oil seeds, nuts, and other products. The company, which was founded in 2005, has grown to become a big marketer of agricultural products in Ethiopia and one of the leading exporters of sesame seeds in the country. It has recently grown into a large corporate organization in the country through BK Business Group. The group still has ongoing operations in trade, transportation, renting construction materials, hotels, domestic company ventures, and selling goods and services, both domestically and internationally. The Kindy family has a combined estimated net worth of over $1.4 billion. Eight, the Shihe family. The Shihe family is by far one of the most influential families in Ethiopia. The family is famous for being the family of the late Abe Shihe, a very prominent political figure from Ethiopia's ruling party. Due to his lengthy employment there, he had adequate influence within the party. One way he made a lot of relationships and considerably boosted the country's economy was in this way. He was quite powerful in the country. According to the Ethiopian government, Abe went missing in action in the ongoing Tigray War by the Ethiopian National Defense Forces under the command of Prime Minister A.B. Ahmed on 13 January 2021. Two other Tigray People's Liberation Front officials were killed with him. The Ethiopian government alleged that the group refused to surrender. The other two veteran Tigrayans killed are Asmalash Wolda Selassie, who was blind and with an amputated left arm, and Siu Mesfin. Ethiopia's Minister of Foreign Affairs from 1991 until September 2010. Five further officials were captured. Abe Sahe had heart surgery before the war. Their families in the TPLF have since said the three were taken from their homes in Mikkel and executed by the Eritrean and Ethiopian military. The pictures published by Ethiopian authorities indicate a point-blank execution of the former ministers and MPs. The Shia family is estimated to be worth over $1.5 billion. 7. The Tefes family 
The Tefes family is a prominent and affluent family in Ethiopia. Their influence is largely due to Samuel Tefes. Samuel Tefes is one of the most well-known businessmen in Ethiopia. The Sunshine Investment Group, a construction and real estate development company that develops residential, leisure, and commercial properties in Ethiopia and the Middle East, was founded by the 63-year-old real estate billionaire. Since its establishment in Ethiopia in 1983, Sunshine Investment Group has built 427 villas and 3554 apartments. This houses the prestigious Marriott Executive Apartments in Addis Ababa. Sunshine acts as a main highway contractor for the government, and the company has built 1,000 kilometers of road projects. More than 3,000 people work with the company. Through its accomplishments over the previous 34 years, it has been able to develop a trustworthy capacity and display practical competence in the building industry. Tefes has made significant contributions to the growth of Ethiopia's building industry, in addition to forming Sunshine Investment Group. Additionally, he has established charitable organizations and additional businesses under Sunshine Investment Group. With more than $100 million in annual revenue, the Tefes family is estimated to be worth over $1.6 billion. Six, the Nega family. The Nega family is not only influential, but also feared by many Ethiopians. They're not the kind of family you'd want to joke with. Sevet Nega is revered as a titan within the Tigray People's Liberation Front. He is well known in Ethiopia for having built a multi-billion dollar business empire during the 27 years the gang was in power. Nega was in charge of the TPLF corporate empire under the auspices of the International Endowment Fund for the Rehabilitation of Tigray. He has accumulated hundreds of millions of dollars through his TPLF business dealings and political connections. Nega was one of the most important people in Ethiopia, even more powerful than the late prime leader Mel Zanawi. He was previously believed to be. The Nega family is estimated to be worth over $2 billion. 5. The Pristos Family This family is closely associated with the Mestin family. Among those with the most intimate knowledge of Mel's the Tarrant and his wife, Azev Mesfin, was Burhain Geber Christos. He is still Azev Mesfin's business partner today, and is the dictator's highly valued apprentice. He assisted in the Tarrant's money-laundering diplomatic maneuvers. The dictator himself participated in the theft of a sizable sum of money from the common people under the cover of taxes prior to the establishment of the government. He was close to the dictator and had previously served in the TPLF Politburo. He also participated in the Tigray Relief Endowment Fund Committee. Despite having a close relationship with Mel's, he was later removed from both groups. The Christos family is estimated to be worth over $2 billion. 4. The Mamo Family The Mamo family is another very influential family in Ethiopia. The family is known for being the family of Ayab Mamo a prominent wholesale distributor of petroleum products in the metro DC region and New York City. Capital Petroleum Group is owned by Ethiopian oil mogul Ayab Jo Memo, who also controls half of the city's gas stations. Memo, who attempts to maintain a low profile, is revered as the supreme authority in the DC gas industry. Ayab Jo Memo also owns half of the city's gas stations and is the owner of Capital Petroleum Group a large wholesale distributor of petroleum goods in the metro D.C. area and New York City. In the D.C. gas sector, Mamo, who makes an effort to keep a low profile, is regarded as the highest authority. When Capital Petroleum Group was valued at $800 million in 2011, he was among Ethiopia's wealthiest business people. Mamo is in charge of the D.C.-based nonprofit. The real estate developer and a billionaire from Ethiopia have submitted a bid to acquire a small share in D.C. United. The Mamo family is worth a combined total of over $2.5 billion. 3. The Zanawi family The Zanawi family is one of Ethiopia's most successful families. It is the family of the late Mel Zanawi. Mel Zanawi was a politician and businessman from Ethiopia who was born on May 9, 1955 and passed away on August 20, 2012 at the age of 57. Mel Zanawi a former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, was in charge. Prior to becoming Prime Minister, Zanawi governed Ethiopia in the 1990s as its president. He led the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front TPLF 
as well as the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front EPRDF in the 1980s. Sanawi served as Ethiopia's Prime Minister from 1995 until his death on August 2012 during which time he was lauded as one of the continent's strongmen for establishing a multi-party political system, establishing a private press, and lowering infant mortality rates. Sanawi merits credit for his lifetime of services to Ethiopia's development, particularly for the impoverished, according to Barack Obama. The Sanawi family is estimated to be worth over $3 billion. 2. The Mestin Family the Mestin family is equally very powerful and influential. The family is the family of Siu Mesfin. At the moment, Siu Mesfin is Ethiopia's ambassador to China. When he was the Minister of Foreign Affairs, he had considerable influence on commerce. He served as Ethiopian Airlines chairman. He was able to smuggle a lot of drugs into Africa and Asia, thanks to his influence in the Ethiopian cabinet and the airline industry. He has a lengthy criminal history of allegedly trafficking illegal substances, and is the wealthiest drug lord in Africa. The widow of Siu Mesfin, Azeb runs her own firm and holds stock in other businesses in Ethiopia. She also carries a criminal reputation among Ethiopians, who have given her the moniker Mother of Corruption. She is a stakeholder in the largest corporations and industries. The combined net worth of the Mesfin family is estimated to be over $5.8 billion. 1. The Amudi family. The Amudi family is arguable the most influential and powerful families in Ethiopia. Mohammed Al Amudi, a son of a Saudi businessman and an Ethiopian mother, is the wealthiest business person in Ethiopia. Al Wealth Amudi derives the most of his fortune from closely held companies in Sweden, Saudi Arabia, and Ethiopia. The billionaire owns Prem, his most valuable asset, Svenska Petroleum, and Mandrak Europe, a building and real estate firm all through the totally owned Petrozweit AB. Additionally, he holds a 17% investment in Crunchfish AB, a Swedish hit firm that creates gesture detection software. Following the nomination of one of his in-laws to the board of Madra Gold, whose portfolio includes the Sheraton Hotels in Djibouti and Addis Abeba, Al Amudi has recently strengthened his control over his hotel business. The Almudi family is thought to be worth well over $8.3 billion. The Amudi family concludes our list of the wealthiest families in Ethiopia. With that said, what do you guys think about all the politicians on our list today? I think it's safe to say you're better off being a politician in Ethiopia than a CEO or venture capitalist. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and please remember to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in another video.